in the previous video we concluded that the image quality of Resident Evil is not great, especially FSR2 which compromised the quality significantly. And I've mentioned that there is a DLSS mod for the game. So today I will show you how to install this mod and tweak the LOD bias to improve texture clarity. And also I will do some comparison between DLSS, FSR2 and native TAA. So without any further ado, let's get going. The installation process of this mod is not hard. All you have to do is download three files. First, we need RE framework and make sure to download the upscaler beta file. Second, we need upscaler base plugin. And third, we need DLSS DLL. And I'll use the latest version at the time of this video, which is 3.1.11. And finally, we will also need NVIDIA Inspector, which you can download from here. And I'll leave all links down at the description. After that, we extract RE Framework, Upscaler Plugin and DLSS. And we copy all three files in the game root directory. And then we launch the game and the RE Framework window should appear. And we wait a little bit until all options finish loading. After that, we go to Temporal Upscaler option. And here we can enable DLSS and choose any quality level we want. Let's now compare native TAA, FSR and DLSS on quality mode. Here at this scene we can clearly see that DLSS produce cleaner image compared to FSR2 and TAA. And DLSS is more effective especially on fine details and vegetation like here. But after all this is just a mod and it's not perfect. For starters, enabling DLSS upscale the UI and makes it look blurry and bad compared to native TAA. Furthermore, using a lower quality level like performance mode will affect texture quality. However, there is a fix for this problem. You can tweak the LOD bias using NVIDIA Inspector to make textures look identical to native image. You can do it by opening NVIDIA Inspector and here look for Resident Evil 4. If you can't find it, make sure your NVIDIA driver is updated. After that we go to Anti-Alias and Transparency Super Sampling and we choose this option called AA Mode Reply Mode All with 0H at the end. And then we go to Texture Filter and LOD Bias DX and here we choose a value corresponding to which quality level DLSS is running at. For example, I'll choose this in Performance Mode so I'll need to set it to minus 1.5 and then we click apply changes. And here you can see the difference between the default and tweaked LOD bias. Now for quality mode I did not notice any degradation in texture quality as you can see here. Only lower quality levels show this problem. But your mileage may vary and if you're experiencing any texture filtering problem make sure to tweak the LOD bias. So this is a really great mod that shows what a proper FSR2 or DLSS implementation from Capcom could have done for this game's image quality. And I really recommend trying it especially if you're playing the game at a higher resolution and you need more performance or you want to crank up more quality settings. And with that we arrive at the end. Thank you so much for watching and for your time. If you enjoyed the video leave a like, if not leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for any future videos and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.